of the HPLC instrumentation is detector. What is a detector? A chromatographic detector is a device used in HPLC to detect component of the mixture being eluted off from the chromatographic column. We have injected the sample into the injector. After that, it will pass through the column and at the end, it will reach to the detector. This is the most important component of the HPLC instrumentation because it will show the final result that is qualitative and quantitative results of the sample component. The detector response is proportional to the concentration of the elevate. Now the analyte that is coming out or the elevate that is coming out from the column, it will uh, show a response in the detector and it will find out which uh, element, which uh, analyte is present or how much analyte is present. On the basis of the response of detector towards analyte, it must be selective. Selective means that it will respond to certain constituent or universal, it will respond to all components. There are some characteristics of an ideal HPLC detector. It must show response for all the component in a mixture. It must show a linear response to the concentration of the analyte. Temperature variation must not affect the response. It must be independent of the mobile phase composition. That is in case of gradient illusion in which we are changing the mobile phase composition. So its response is independent of the mobile phase composition. It must be capable of tracing even lower concentration. It must produce stable and reproducible signal. HPLC detectors are classified into two categories, solute property HPLC detectors and bulk property HPLC detector. Solute property HPLC detector, as the name indicates, solute properties. So the response of the detector depends upon the solute, not on the mobile phase. So it will measure the property of solute that is not exhibited by the mobile phase. So the solute property HPLC detectors are the detectors that detect the illusion of the component based on the property of those component or its solutes or response to physical or chemical properties of the solute that is not generally exhibited by the mobile phase. UV visible detector, fluorescent detector and electrochemical detectors are involved in this type. Bulk property HPLC detector as the name indicate bulk property. So in this case, the mobile phase is involved. Mobile phase with or without the solute is passed through the detector and the mobile phase with solute and mobile phase without solute, the response of both will be different. So this difference is calculated and this difference is measured that is proportional to the concentration of the solute in the mixture. So the bulk property HPLC detectors are the detector that detect the presence of the solute in the solution by relying on the property of the bulk solution and not in the solute alone. So in this case we will study the bulk solution and as well as the bulk solution along with the solute or response to the overall change in the physical properties of the mobile phase with and without the solute. So in this case, the mobile phase is passed with or without the solute and there is difference of some property. That difference uh, is measured and it will show the amount of sample. Refractive index detector and conductometry detectors are involved in this type. Refractive index detector and electrochemical detector. These are classified into bulk property detector while UV visible detector and fluorescence detector. These are classified as solute property detector. Electrochemical detector is further classified into two categories, voltammetric detector and conductometric detector. The basic principle of operation of these two are different. Voltammetric detector is based on three electrode system, while in conductometric we use two electrodes. That's why the electrochemical detectors, these are classified into two different categories. 
Voltmeter detector is further classified into two categories: amperometric det HPLC detectors and colometric HPLC detector. Voltmeter detector. amperometric and colometric detector these are classified as solute property detector while electrochemical detector having conductometric detector it is bulk property detector so there is difference between these two electrochemical detector having conductometric detector it is bulk property detector while electrochemical detector both are same electrochemical detector having amperometric and colometric detector these are classified as solute property detector first bulk property detector is refractive index detector it is universal non destructive concentration detector relatively insensitive and is usable only with isocratic hplc separation basic principle of refractive index detector that is also known as differential refractometer is the difference of the refractive index of the pure mobile phase and the mobile phase containing solute so the mobile phase pure mobile phase without solute and mobile phase with solute both are passed through the detector and there is difference of some properties that is refractive index that refractive index will be measured and that is recorded so generally the change in the refractive index is almost linearly proportional to the concentration of the solute in a mixture working of refractive index detector refractive index detector measure the change in the refractive index a glass cell is divided into two triangular 5 to 10 microliter compartment cell through which the pure solvent and the eluvate passes so here the glass cells and it is divided into two triangular compartments so these two triangular compartments are given over here in this case these are two compartments that is in triangular shape one is for reference cell and the other is for sample the effluents from the lc column flow through the sample cell while the other cell called the reference cell is filled with only the mobile phase so the reference cell will contain only the mobile phase and the effluents from the column it will pass through the sample cell when the effluents going through the sample cell does not contain any analyte the solid inside the cell are the same in figure a if you look at the figure a in this case only the mobile phase is passing through both the cell the sample cell and the reference cell now there is no difference of refractive index there is no difference in other properties so it will not show any a deflection or it will not show any change because the reference cell and the sample cell both contain the mobile phase and only the mobile phase without the analyte is passing through this both cells when the effluents going through the sample cell does not contain any analyte the solvent inside both the cell are the same when the beam is irradiated on the cell the observed beam will be straight in this case now there is no uh, refractive index change in the refractive index both containing the mobile phase so the beam will pass straight through these cells and there is no deflection observed however in the uh, however in a case that when the effluents contain any component other than the mobile phase bending of the incident beam occur due to the refractive index difference between the two solvents figure b in figure b one is shown as blue color another one is shown as pink color now the pink color containing the mobile phase as well as solute or the component while the blue the reference cell will contain only the mobile phase now there is difference of properties that is refractive index now the light when it pass through uh, through this this sample cell it will bend due to the difference in the refractive index and that difference of the refractive index is measured and that is directly proportional to the sample in the uh, sample cell by measuring this change the presence of the component can be observed 
advantages and disadvantages of refractive index it is bulk property detector so it will detect all components it is applicable to the use with soil that has uv absorbance it can detect species with no chromophore and it is not affected by the flow rate refractive index detector has lower sensitivity and it is not suitable for gradient illusion conductometric detector that is also a bulk property detector it is universal for all anions and cations non destructive concentration detector usable only with isocratic reverse phase hplc principle of hplc detector that is conductivity detectors it will detect the ions by measuring the electrical conductivity of the column effluents as its flow through the cell and the conductance is proportional to the concentration of the ions so in this case we will measure the concentration of conduction of ions and that is proportional to the concentration of ions in the sample actually the detector measure the conductivity by measuring the electrical resistance of the ions we know the electrical resistance and conductivity are inverse to each other so electrical resistance can be measured easily with wheatstone bridge and from that value we will convert it into the electrical conductivity and the electrical conductivity uh, is related to the Uh, concentration of the ions in the given sample so from the electrical conductivity we will find the concentration of ions in the given sample working of conductivity detector it consists of two electrically isolated electrode that are immersed in a mobile phase effluent flow all the ions in the mobile phase will participate in carrying the current across the cell when a potential is imposed between these two electrodes the ions would migrate to the electrode opposite to their charge and the ability of the mobile phase to conduct current is measured now the ions will start moving and the ability of the mobile phase to conduct current it is measured there is usually a background conductivity which must be backed off by suitable electronic adjustment the measured value is directly proportional the measured value of the conductivity is directly proportional to the concentration of ions so the columns effluents it will come towards the conductivity detector having electrodes and mobile phase will show its conductance towards the electrodes towards the oppositely charged electrodes and from this conductance value we will measure the concentration of the ions that are present in the sample advantages and disadvantages of electrochemical detector it is used for small anions and cations the inorganic ions and the organic ions such as chloride nitrate phosphate sodium and ammonium and acetate oxalate and citrates and cation are di tri and tetra alkyl ammonium ions it is nearly universal because it will show response to mainly ions mainly all ions common for ion ion exchange lc detect species with no chromophore there are some disadvantages of electrochemical detector that they are bulk property detector they they show response to all ions so they cannot be made compound specific or selective background ions from the mobile phase buffer or the ion eluvents used in ion exchange chromatography would swamp the conductance from low level of ion ionic analytes so it will cause interferences in the conductance gradient chromatography it is a big challenge in electrochemical conductor